Following Kate's cancer news, Prince William is back in the public eye, performing his first public appearances on Thursday. The Prince of Wales pledged to take care of his wife Catherine, who disclosed her cancer diagnosis last month. William, 41, started his visit to a juvenile facility in West London by stopping by a surplus food charity in Surrey. The Princess of Wales, who hasn't performed any formal obligations since Christmas Day, said in a stirring video on March 22 that she had already begun preventive treatment and that her diagnosis had come as a huge shock. Tests conducted after Kate's January stomach surgery revealed her malignancy. The news came after weeks of internet conspiracy theories and speculative discussions on her whereabouts. William began his Thursday schedule with a visit to Surplus to Supper, a food redistribution organization. There, he spoke with volunteers and assisted in packing food into trucks to be distributed to nearby organizations. While wearing an apron and helping with lunch preparation, he also had conversations with chefs on how they are bridging the gap between food waste and food poverty. A volunteer offered the prince many get-well cards for his father, King Charles III, and wife while he was in the kitchen. In February, King Charles III also disclosed that he was receiving treatment for an unidentified kind of cancer. William then hopped into a vehicle and headed to Hanworth Center Hub, a youth facility that gets support from surplus to supper with other volunteers. Rachel Candapa, the volunteer, made a move that seemed to touch the prince. She instructed the future king to take care of Kate, to which William responded, I will, according to the British news agency Paw Media. His trips were intended to spotlight the community and environmental impact organizations in the area are having through their work, according to Kensington Palace. The palace went on, reducing food waste has a number of environmental benefits, including lowering greenhouse gas emissions from landfills.